Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue that says that there was a problem resetting your PC. So in order to resolve this issue, I'm going to go through a couple of different potential workarounds for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I'd recommend doing would be if you're able to boot into Windows, would be to head over to the Start button and left click on it. And then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard when you click on this power icon right here at the bottom left and then click on restart again while you're holding down the shift key. We're going to be accessing our advanced troubleshooting options through this window and if you're unable to get into Windows you can always download the Windows 10 immediate creation utility through Microsoft's own website and you can boot your computer from that. I've made many tutorials of that nature in the past so it shouldn't be very complicated to do in the first place but if you need additional guidance there are tutorials out there to help you with that. So for choose an option on the screen, you want to click this troubleshoot, which says reset your PC or see advanced options. So you want to left click on that. This time I'd recommend going through reset your PC, let you choose to keep or remove your files, and then reinstall Windows. Left click on that. And at this point I'd recommend trying to reset your PC through this screen. Most people that are probably trying to reset their computers are going through the main interface of Windows 10, and they didn't do it this fashion or they didn't do it in this way. So I'd recommend trying it this way, however you were doing it through the normal Windows operating system through the desktop mode it is another way to describe it. And if that still doesn't work for you, I'd recommend, let's say we that did not work for us, we're going to go back here. So choose an option. Let's say the first method did not work for you. You tried resetting it through this screen and it didn't work. Okay, we're going to go back into the troubleshooting tile again. This time we're going to go underneath advanced options, which should be the second option. Now you have other options to choose from here. There's quite a few, so hopefully there should be something that will be able to see your needs here. You have a system image recovery, so if you have any system image files that are backed up to a flash drive or CD or DVD, you can access that through here. That would be very recommended if you've made backups of your computer. If you have not done that, you can always go back to a previous build of Windows by clicking on this tile as well. You can also run our Prepare Utility to see what might be causing problems booting up your Windows computer. This tends to work very well and I've made other videos about the Automatic Repair Utility in the past and this seems to have had a lot of success, this option as well, if that's the reason why you're resetting your computer if you're unable to boot into Windows, which you have to understand there's different reasons why people are resetting their computer. We're trying to cover different scenarios here. And you can also change different startup settings, and there are different command prompt options you can run. I've made tutorials about resetting the master boot record and somewhat similar tutorials in the past. So if you had any specific error messages, you can always go on to my channel and see if you have any error messages that I cover in any tutorials. And that could be another good avenue for you guys as well. And of course, we always have System Restore here, which is always a godsend. In my opinion, at least, it usually works if you have problems with more recent installations of Windows. So basically, if you have any system restores already saved to your computer, this utility will allow you to restore your computer back to an earlier time, which most of you guys should know what system restore is at this point. It's been around since, I believe, Windows 98. So it's been quite a long time, and most of you guys should be pretty familiar with its functionality. But we're just going to let this utility open up for a sec. You're going to see we're going to have the system restore. We're going to log into our computer account. You want to make sure you have the password for that. If you don't, we really can't help you too much with that. And we can see that there are no system restore points that have been created. However, if you've owned your computer for any serious period of time, more than six months generally, you should have at least a few restore points saved. If you run Windows updates, if you have different programs that install frequently, they will often create system restore points on their own if you don't uncheck any options. So you guys should have system restore options through here, and I'd recommend restoring your computer that way as well. And then if you still wanted to reset your computer, hopefully you'd be able to reset your computer at that time. But we're just going to cancel out of here. But I've tried to go over different options that should hopefully cover what you guys are looking for out of this video. So I do hope it worked for you guys. I hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.